Working on a Dodge Promaster full size of 14. We have one working flip key and a dealer ordered flip key. Uh, Smart Pro's running into a problem with the software on programming a second key. It fails when you turn the ignition off and then add a second key, it'll fail. So what we've done is cut a chipless shell that's in the ignition in the on position. We are not going to turn the ignition off. The programmer will ask to turn the ignition off and turn it on with the second key. We are going to not do that, and that should bypass the problem that we're having. So we're just going to hold the key up to the ignition like so without the blade up, and that should read it. Well, it's going to be difficult for me to do this with the phone, so we're going to hit program keys. Go. Ignition's on, fault code's detected, you want to continue, yes. Key's not available, but deleted, okay. 31113 is our code. At this point, we need to put that key up there. And we'll hit check mark. Key's programmed one with remote, okay. So don't turn the ignition off. You want to program more keys, yes. Remove key and insert ignition. So we're not going to remove it, we're just going to do that and hit OK. Two keys programmed with remote. OK. Do you want to program more keys? No. Two keys programmed, just like that. So we eliminated the problem with the Smart Pro by using a keyless chip shell, not turning the ignition off, and the problem is solved. So we'll try our new key. Works. Car starts, no security light. Take care.